Lebanon was Lakhdar Brahimi's sixth stop on his seven-leg regional tour to get support from Syria's neighbors for his efforts to stop the bloodshed. From Beirut, Brahimi had a blunt message for Syria's neighbors. They must realize this crisis in Syria will not be confined within Syria's borders forever. If not resolved, it will spill over sooner or later, and it will eat the green and the dry grass. Brahim is trying to broker a temporary truce in Syria during the Muslim holiday of Eid al-Adha. It's a very, very small step. Every day more than 100 people are killed in Syria. Why not try to save some lives? Officially, the government said it will cooperate with Brahimi's plans. But one pro-government newspaper said Brahimi's efforts are futile because the opposition and the armed groups are not unified and will not be able to enforce a ceasefire. The armed rebels also voiced skepticism, saying they simply don't trust the government. The UN Arab League envoy is trying to build momentum to bank on promises of cooperation by regional countries. Countries like Turkey, Iraq, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, and even Iran. The Turkish Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan says he's met with the Iranian president and discussed ways on how to resolve the Syrian crisis. We had a proposal for him. We suggested a trilateral approach. Turkey, Egypt, Iran. This is a possibility. Or another system, Turkey, Russia, Iran. Or a third option. Turkey, Egypt, Saudi Arabia. Depending on the outcome, we can spread this approach and then have a better understanding of what we can achieve. Brahimi wants to translate the supporting statements into supporting action. One way to do that, he says, is for countries to stop sending weapons to both sides in Syria. But at a meeting in Paris of 20 countries and delegates from rebel-held areas of Syria, some members of the opposition had a different vision. We have been asking for an off-fly zone for more than a year, but the international community is blocked because of the position of Russia and China, which are against the Syrian people. We will continue to ask for an off-fly zone, but it's in the hands of God. The opposition got promises for financial aid, but no pledges for a no-fly zone so far. Gula Amin, Al Jazeera, Beirut.